Hi guys, and in today's tutorial, I will show you how you can create this awesome uh, Lego shader. So, let's actually begin. And I want to say that this Lego shader will be also needed for my next tutorial, so stay tuned. I will delete all of it and I will create it from the very beginning. So, first of all, I will explain uh, why do you need uh, and what you need uh, in these patches. So, pixel shader and the just color shader you can get from Spark AR library. And um, there is also a just texture. So, uh, it takes, uh, for example, like a texture uh, and we have we have here x and y it takes texture and multiplying it so many times uh, how we have how much we have x um, times and y times on x and y axis but i will explain it more detailed later so We'll go to device, we'll drag it to the patch editor, we'll go to camera, we will click on texture extraction, so we'll add it, uh, then we will add our leg light shader, I will connect camera texture and screen size with device screen size here, uh, then I will connect a leg texture and then amount so it does actually nothing now uh, because we don't have a material so I will go to add uh, object rectangle fill with fill his material let's call it legalize material and rectangle will be legalize rectangle so then I will add our material to the patch editor and as you see it is actually working now so you can actually use it Uh, now I want to add some custom control uh, for the user to change the value with the slider. For example, 1 and 60. So we'll go to project, edit properties, and we will uncheck Facebook. Then we'll go to UI and we will add a slider UI visible so we have values from 0 to 1 in slider UI but we want to have it from 1 to 100 so I am multiplying it by 100 and connecting so the start value will be 0 0.35 okay and Let's actually take a closer look what is inside this page. So, uh, here is actually two main patches, just texture and pixelate shader modified. Why modified? Um, because it is not only pixelating our texture, but also uh, let us to know uh, how many pixels we have on uh, X axis and Y axis. So let's just connect a pixel H shader modified with our rectangle. So as you see, it is only pixelating it. And um, I will disconnect amount our slider 
uh, oops, amount and I will type here for example 200 so let's count how many pixels we have now on x axis and y axis 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 then we'll back to main we'll click on convert to patch group and now we see that pixel a shader is transmitting our x and y values to adjust texture patch so it is nearly 4 and it is nearly 7 so 4 and 7 and then we have to take our Lego texture transmit it to patch and create exactly the same amount of Lego pixels on X axis and Y axis and exactly on the same places so let's connect for example um, adjust texture goes to texture sampler texture sampler takes U and V coordinates from adjust texture and a texture it is actually our Lego texture and is transmitting it to blend it is blending our pixelate and Lego texture and then returning our Lego shader now I will connect just texture sampler and now we have only Lego textures and exactly on the same places and exactly the same amount uh, how we need it so let's type here uh, 35 or 32 doesn't matter and it is actually working so we have 24 pixels uh, 25 sorry on our X and uh, 44 on our Y axis so it is how actually work uh, it is how actually uh, pixelate shader is working and to do it more vibrant uh, to do it more uh, saturated I have added a vibrance patch for example if we are taking 2 or even 5 you see that our color is changing but let it be 1.5 uh, you can actually play with these values you can also add an adjust color shader and play with saturation, brightness, and so on. So, and the last step, um, I'm checking, uh, for example, if um, here is a slider, yeah, and when our value from slider is zero uh, then uh, I'm saying that it sh should not be zero but 15 because uh, when we are typing here for example zero it looks not so nice okay uh, it's that's pretty much it uh, so two main patches, adjust texture and pixel a shader modified. Uh, so guys, thank you for watching. Uh, my project files will be on Gumroad. Subscribe to my channel. Um, subscribe to my Facebook, Instagram, and I will see you soon on my next tutorial. Bye.